So what it's doing is it's developing an organizer for physicians. In this example, I'm a, a hospitalist making rounds on my patients, and I just need to understand what's happened with my patients over time. What this does is this allows me to see since the last time I logged on that we have a lab test that's come back. It's called the complete blood count. The uh, exclamation point tells me that that's an abnormal. So this may be a patient that I want to focus in on real early in, in, the, in the day rather than wait for later on in the day to, to take care of him. If I need to look at information in more detail, I can open up his record and look at basically everything that's been documented or everything that's come back on this particular patient. One of the, the key components of the application is clinical decision support that's embedded within the product that's providing me with alerts and reminders. In this case, here's one example of an alert that's kind of a point in time alert. Here's another example of an alert that occurs over time. So what's happening in this particular case is one of the markers for uh, kidney problems is an elevated creatinine. And very often it can increase over time and Realistically, you know, it can, it, we would maybe potentially wait until the patient is exhibiting symptoms before somebody does something about this. So what it's doing is it's just saying, hey, you know, you need to watch this. There's something you need to consider. And the idea is to prevent something from happening, you know, early on in the process. Another key component of this is the ability for healthcare organizations to share best practice guidelines across uh, disparate organizations. So, for example, the Mayo Clinic in Rochester develops a, uh, an application for cardiac patients. I may work at a hospital in a, in a rural uh, outlying area. I could take advantage of that best practice guideline. In this example, I see a list of patients who are on that guideline. And typically what we have to do is give a certain set of medications. These patients are patients who are having acute heart attacks. So I can see that this patient's already had his aspirin, he's had his nitroglycerin, and his morphine but there are still three medications that are outstanding. But I'm doing okay because I still have about um, an hour before we've hit that, that time limit. Here's another patient. She's got about five minutes. She hasn't had her clot buster, which is used to, to prevent uh, clots in the heart or in the brain or in the lungs. So this may be a patient I need to focus in on right away and, uh, and work with right away. Um, another thing that uh, you know I have to do on my patients, make sure they have EKG heart tracings done. If I want to look at the actual tracing, I can just select that and see what that EKG was. But what it, again, overall what it does is it allows an organization to apply best practice guidelines across disparate systems. Uh, whether it's a GE healthcare software system or a system from another vendor. But how much training do you think someone would need to use this? Well, you know, this, this is still in development. Uh, it's scheduled to go live at Intermountain later on this year in their shock trauma unit. So I don't have any data on how long it's going to take um, to train. I'll tell you that I learned it myself, you know, very quickly. But uh, as far as, you know, using it in real clinical use, I, I don't, just don't have that data.